Hi, I'm Shelley Neese, president of the Jerusalem Connection. I like to share regular tidbits with our listeners about biblical archaeology, Dead Sea Scrolls, or biblical commentary. If we don't understand the Bible's connection to the land of Israel, then we don't have a firm foundation for our own Zionism. I've done another video about how Israel brought the first Dead Sea Scrolls to appear on the black market. That involved Hebrew University professor Eliezer Sukanik making an assessment on the eve of war. There is a second part of that story. It was Archbishop Mar Samuel, head of the Syrian Orthodox Monastery of St. Mark in Jerusalem, who was one of the first to purchase Dead Sea Scrolls off the black market. Unlike the other scroll dealers, Mar Samuel didn't like dealing directly with Israelis. To him, all Jews were representatives of the enemy nation. Mar Samuel brought the scrolls to America to try and secure a Western buyer. Despite the intense interest in the ancient Hebrew schools, universities and museums were hesitant to make the purchase. Frustrated and out of options, Mar Samuel published an advertisement on page 14 of the Wall Street Journal. Biblical manuscripts dating back to at least 200 BC are for sale, it said. This would be an ideal gift to an educational or religious institution by an individual or group. As fate would have it, the Israeli archaeologist and army general Yigal Yadin was in New York giving a lecture the day the ad appeared. Yadin was the son of Professor Eliezer Sukhanik, the very scholar whom Mar Samuel had refused in negotiations over the manuscripts. Combining his experience as an intelligence operator and utilizing his connections in the world of academia, Yadin arranged for a Jewish-American professor to assume a fake Gentile identity, meet with Mar Samuel to authenticate the scrolls, and then purchase the scrolls, collectively known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, on behalf of Israel for $250,000. As an extra precaution, they were flown back to the Jewish nation on three separate airplanes. And that's how it's done. Shabbat Shalom.